Hello, my name is Dennis Kelly. I'm the CEO of Postalytics. We're here today to walk through our template proofing process as a part of our quick overview video series. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to digging in with you. So what is the template proofer? The template proofer is a part of the Postalytics creative system that we've designed to give you an opportunity to merge your creative with list data to prepare high resolution PDFs that will represent your creative exactly the way that it will print. It is a fast process that will take a list, merge it with your template, and render a high resolution PDF that you can review for quality and make sure that it looks exactly the way that you want it to. So why do we do this? Well, it actually uh, replaces a manual process that is typically used in the direct mail production process uh, that can often take days or weeks. And so we do this so that you can catch potential errors through your direct mail campaign. And so we've set up this step-by-step -step wizard that will walk you through the process and require you to check off that you've approved each component of your direct mail template. And so by doing this upfront, before you approve your template, we're replacing a ton of back and forth uh, that usually involves emails and phone calls and printed proofs between a direct mail printer and a marketing team. So in order to use a template in a Postalytics campaign, you actually have to accept a final proof. If you're going to deploy a Postalytics campaign, you have to go through this proofing process and tell us, yes, this template is exactly the way that I want it to be. Template proofing process can start from either the action button in the listing of templates or right for, from within the template editor. Up in the upper right hand corner, you can click proof template. If you proof a template and then go and make any changes that you save to a template, the status of the template will change from proofed to unproofed and it will require you to go through the proofing process again. So after you click the proof button, the first step is to choose a data source. As we mentioned, the goal here is to generate a high resolution PDF using real data that is inserted into your template in either the personalization and or the address area so that you can confirm that the template looks correct. So the first thing to do is to choose a data source. You can either choose sample data for trigger drip campaigns, or if you're sending uh, through a smart send campaign, choose your list that you plan to use for your smart send. Here we're going to choose that list and then enter the return address we want to see in our direct mail proof. If your template includes a personalized URL, you're going to tell us how to structure that personalized URL for your proof. And so you'll choose a domain and pick a style, set up your uh, personalized URL. And then we'll jump into the proofing process. On the right hand side of the screen is the high resolution PDF that we've generated. And the first thing that we're going to ask you to do is check the image quality. And so what our goal here is to have you review the front and back of the postcard, the full letter if you're using the letter template, and then scroll through the previous and next buttons in the upper right hand side and look at multiple versions of your template and make sure that the image quality meets or exceeds your expectations. So you check that off, click next, and the next step is to check off several other components. First, we're going to check the safe and bleed area. And so you want to make sure that the images and the text that you've incorporated into your template are all within the safe area so that they won't get trimmed in uh, slight variances of cutting during the direct mail process. And then the other thing you want to check is make sure that any background images extend all the way to the bleed line so that, again, during the cutting process, you don't end up with any white lines around a postcard or a letter. So the safe and bleed area check comes first. Next, we're going to ask you to confirm that the copy 
and the spelling and the formatting are all correct. We'll ask you to look through your template very carefully and confirm that everything is spelled properly, uh, that you don't have uh, any components that are misaligned, and that everything looks the way it should from a copy standpoint. Next, we're going to ask you to confirm that the address looks correct, that the from address and the to addresses are all uh, lined up properly. And then finally, we'll have you confirm that the personalization is rendering properly. And if you have incorporated a personalized URL or a QR code, that those are being uh, rendered properly in your proof. So lots of different checks here. We're going to make sure that we walk you through everything you need to know in order to be confident that your template is going to print the way that you want it to. And then finally, we're going to ask you to confirm that the proof meets or exceeds your expectations and that you're ready to accept your final proof. Once you've done that, you're off to the races and you can start building your campaign. So to summarize the template proofer, we're going to save you time while giving you high quality proofs. It is required to use, in, if you're going to use a template in a mailing, you have to go through the proofing process. It will automatically test all the template variables. And so you can scroll back and forth with the previous and next button and see the longest name, the longest address, any personalization variables. We're going to let the software do all the work so that you don't have to do that. And that's it. Once you've got a chance to run through the proofer, feel free to give us a shout, shoot us an email. We'd be happy to answer any questions. And we look forward to seeing you launch some great campaigns. Thank you.